for Stuart Haas and you end up leading the charge at the end. How much of a statement was today? Well, it would have been more of a statement if we won the race, obviously. You know, I thought as a company we had a really good day. You know, all four cars were sick attention. Yeah, I felt like uh, Stuart Haas car probably should have won the race. And we just, you know, couldn't, couldn't catch the brakes that we needed there at the end. But, yeah, overall, great day. You know, that's something that, as a company, we needed to go and, you know, run up front all four cars, really competitive. So, yeah, I wish one of us would have won the race. But, uh, yeah, I had that. And we'll go on the next week. And hopefully we continue the speed and just this momentum as a company. Did you have them covered if that caution didn't come out? What was that? Did you have them covered if that caution didn't come out? I would like to think so. Uh, I mean, you know, having a two-second lead, honestly, just kind of riding, uh, trying to just maintain a two-second lead. I, I thought our car was really, really good at that point. You now, even with the caution, I thought we were going to be okay. Um, and then, you know, I, I thought we were going to stay out. And then at the end, it looked like more guys were going to come down pit rows. So. We decided to come down with them, and you know, obviously Monday morning quarterback, it's a lot easier to say we probably should have stayed out, but you know, we didn't, and you know, we win and lose as a team. And you know, at the time, I thought that was going to be okay. Still, with just the amount of laps we still had to go, but this track position uh, was obviously super important. It was really hard to pass, even if you were better than a guy. You know, they could just kind of hang on. It seemed like tires. It took them 50, 60 laps to kind of fall off, and you know, even if you had older tires. So, yeah, we just you know probably made the wrong decision at the end, but at the time and. You know, the perspective that we had, we thought it was going to be the best decision. And sometimes you just make the wrong one. And it's hard when you're in the lead because, you know, everybody normally does the opposite of you. So it's a uh, part of it and uh, move on. And you said this race was worse than the race last year. What are your thoughts on those comments? Uh, I thought it was honestly about the same. I thought inside the car we were maybe slipping and sliding around like maybe 10% more. You know, it's still obviously extremely hard to pass. Um, yeah, I thought it was 5 to 10% better. You know, still has a really long way to go. But I did think in the driver's seat, like, you made a little more of a difference. You know, just the problem is when you can downshift and things like that, you know, these cars have so much four drive and, and obviously not a lot of power coming off the corner. It just everybody's kind of the same speed. So, yeah, unfortunate. You know, I wish that. And, you know, we kind of turned a huge page there in the package. Like I said, I thought it was a little bit better. It seems to be obviously a lot more better. Since you guys as a whole combined the lead over half this race today, obviously the result isn't what you guys wanted because we're kind of not in the lane, but what did you take away from a weekend like this when all four cars show strong speed? Yeah, I think, you know, for us as a company, we knew that the short tracks is where we were really going to need to capitalize, and that's where it's kind of frustrating knowing that we didn't, you know, lock ourselves in today when we had a great opportunity. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, hopefully we can continue the speed and this momentum. You know, the mile and a half definitely seemed like that's that's going to be a struggle for us all year long. So, I don't know. Hopefully we can, you know, carry some of the speed over momentum. You know, it's hard to say if we really could do that again at a place, you know, so similar or so opposite of this. But, yeah, it was a really good day for Stuart Haas. That's you know, kind of the Stuart Haas, you know, that, that was three, four years ago, right? And it was nice to kind of see that again. So, yeah, really good day for the company. Just wish that one of us was taking on the grandfather. Was it more part of the Holy crap, I might win this race with a broken hand. Yeah, I mean, really, the last two weeks, I told Jamie uh, Little on the TV broadcast, maybe I need to break another finger. It's kind of been the turning point for us all year long. So, uh, yeah, I thought, you know, for sure, when I was in the lead there with 50 to go, you know, I was just cruising and driving away from them guys, and I, I really thought that we were, you know, in the catbird seat to, to win. And the caution came out and knew that I was still in a really good position just when we lost the lead. Obviously, that's where it all kind of went downhill, and it was just really hard to pass. So, yeah, unfortunate, but, uh, you know, everybody knew we were here today. You know, we led over 100 laps. And just had another really good solid day, but obviously wish that we were locking ourselves in today. Why is no it? downforce? Why can't you guys? Like I would think maybe you'd be able to execute a bump and run, like you'd be able to get somebody loose, but you really couldn't yeah. get there, could you? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of different things. You know, the power's so far down that you know there's no like you, you just mat it on exit. You know, there's not enough power to really like spin the tires. I mean, you have a little bit, but it's not enough to like make a huge drastic change. Then. You know, like the Xfinity cars and the trucks, you can get really close to a guy's left rear and it literally wants to like almost spin them out where these cars don't do that. The guy in front has zero disadvantage. You know, the, the guy behind us has a disadvantage, so it's extremely hard to do anything. So I don't know what the fix is. And I think a lot of it probably is the diffuser and things like that, but you know, more power would be an easy solution. But you know, obviously I feel like our hands are tied a little bit there. Why but is you say that the short tracks are the tracks that you guys need to be able or can capitalize on? I don't know. I think, you know, a little bit just it seems like the Fords are a little bit off from a, a, a downforce standpoint when they go to the mile and a half. You know, the Chevys are just extremely good. Um, and I don't know what we're really missing on the mile and a half. We kind of you know, weren't great really last year either. And then it seems like this year with the body change and things like that, we're just even off a little bit more. Or the Chevys got even better. So, yeah, I feel like the short tracks and, and even road courses are where we're going to really need to capitalize. And, 
Yeah, that's, that's the, the frustrating thing about today is just knowing that this is a great opportunity and we kind of let it slip away. How was your finger? It was okay. I, I definitely had some pain there a little bit. You know, it, it was really hard for me when I'd get really far turned to the left, but then also it was extremely hard for me to counter steer. So, you know, I had to be really patient about making sure I was straight up off the corner, which probably honestly was helping me there quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, it was okay. I'm sure I'm going to be in quite a bit of pain, you know, tonight. But I'll be at the hospital at 5 a.m. and see what they can do. Any, any swelling out, or anything? Um, with the older tires, with what you'd seen earlier, do you feel like a great position? Would you worry? And how would that be any different yeah, from what you would have felt in the past? You know, when we got the lead, you know, I think during that green flag cycle, we were running fourth. And, uh, you know, we were running ninth, I want to say. And, yeah, Johnny had told me to pit. I saw everybody kind of come down in front of me, and I just kind of took it upon myself to stay out. Um, and, obviously, it was a, a good call there. You know, we were able to drive away and kind of, you know, take control of the race. And there at the end, you know, he just has such a better understanding of what's going on. Originally, we were going to stay out, and then it sounded like the whole field was going to come behind us. So we decided to, to pit and try to be, you know, the, the leader still. And, you know, a couple guys stayed out and just – being the lead car was so important. I mean, you know, the 22 was honestly non-existent all day long and, you know, ends up second. That's that's the frustrating thing. I think we lapped him three or four times and, you know, they kind of throw a Hail Mary there at the end. So, yeah, like I said earlier, it's, it's always easier after the fact to be, yeah, man, we should have stayed out. But in that moment, you know, being in the lead, it's, it's one of the hardest things I feel like to do in racing and just because everybody behind you typically does the opposite. So, yeah, obviously I wish we would have stayed out now, but who knows if we would have won the race still. It just felt like we would have probably finished a little bit better in fifth. What's the process now? Do you ice that thing down or what's drive it? Drive home. Just drive home. <laughs> yeah, just drive home and yeah, hopefully it'll be good. All right, thanks. Yeah. Hey everyone, Dalton Hopkins here with FrontStretch.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out one of the two videos next to me to see more of our racing content.